Welcome, folks, guys and girls, to Wrestling Face to the Mat, YouTube Wrestling Zone, Face to the Mat, and we got six great cards, six great matches tonight, and let's get right to it. We'll go right to the ring and find out exactly uh, what's going to happen. Here we go. In the blue corner. The favorite wrestler, Justice for All himself, Judge Joe Ridge. Joe Ridge. In the beige corner, he is the one-man party. He's Artie McCarty. Artie McCarty. All right, let's find out uh, the pre-match. Let's see what's going to happen. It's four, so we'll go to O. And... 62, Commissioner makes a glowing TV statement about wrestlers, re reduce the grudge grade of both wrestlers and all hot box members by two points. So neither one of them has a grudge grade, so we're all good there. Here we go. We are ready to proceed in just a moment. Just a moment. We're ready to proceed. I don't have much more I have to do here. All right, I think we're just about ready. Not quite, but just about. Move this over. That's good there. I have the book there in case I need it. Uh, wild card. And this is just for ring matches. Yep. And this is what this is, a ring match. All right. We are ready to begin, and let's flip the first card over. Cheat. Who has a cheat? That goes to Artie McCarty himself. He delivers a painful and highly illegal hold on the opponent. He grabs him in the crotch. Three points. Artie McCarty, the one-man party. He called that the crotch rocket. <laughs> crotch rocket. Object. Object. Neither one of them has that. Smart. Uh, both of them are smart, but Judge Joe Ridge uh, is behind, so he avoids the elbow splash and gives him a clothesline right up th th by the neck, and he goes falling over into the corner. Strong. And neither athlete is strong, neither wrestler is strong. Quick, quick. Um, that, once again, is Judge Joe Ridge. He avoids a suplex slam, and he gets a two-hold on Artie McCarty for three points. All right. Grudge. Uh, neither has a grudge this match. Favorite, favorite wrestler. Um, he will use, let's see. He'll bang a gavel over the opponent's head. Judge Joe Ridge will, and he gets one point for that. No grudge. Who said that? Agile. Agile. And that will be Artie McCarty. He somersaults across the ring and hits him right in the midsection. So he's not giving up on Joe Ridge quite yet. Favorite wrestler. Once again, there's the favorite, favorite wrestler. Judge Joe Ridge gives him the elbow of justice. Three points right there. And he's coming right along. Agile again, though. And Artie McCarty escapes a double arm lock and whirls him around and gives him an elbow smash himself. Heavy, heavy. That is Judge Joe Ridge. He gets him in a bear hug. McCarty's in trouble now. Smart, though. And McCarty, he get, uh, avoids a head button. He butts Joe Ridge's head into the turnbuckle himself. But once again, uh-oh, the favorite. He drop kicks Artie McCarty into the corner, and he's to the next pin. He'll be able to have a chance to pin him. Wow. Not yet. Wild card. Let's go to wild card, folks. 
It'll be a 15. Helped. Either wrestler helped. Uh, that, that would be uh, nope. unable to use the gold, silver, or bronze moves the rest of the match. And that is Joe Ridge. He's unable to use those the rest of the match. Wow. All right. Heavy. Heavy. That is Joe Ridge. So he gets him with a splash move. And now he gets a chance to pin him. He will have a chance to pin him. And McCarty is uh, an E TV wrestler. Oh, no, no. We start everybody at D. That's right. D. Sue. 11 to 16 is where he needs to kick out, though. One. Two. Oh, and there's a 16. He has to go back, and Judge Joe Ridge is not over with. I mean, Artie McCarty's not done yet. TV move. That'll be the one from behind. And his TV is a D. He gets no points for it, but he does get a handstand. Um... Let, and then a foot upside the face with it. Powerful, powerful. Neither one is powerful. Mean. Um, that's Joe Ridge on a square. He's on a square. Close lines him. And then ask for a 30-second timeout. <laughs> cheat. That's Artie McCarty. He gets a cheap shot in while the referee isn't looking. The one-man party is trying to come back. Grudge. No. Quick. Quick, that will be, no, McCarty needs a circle for that. Judge Joe Ridge executes a bulldog maneuver, and he's on his second one. This time he gets another chance to pin Artie McCarty. No, sir, he kicks out of that one as well. So next time he can go to the close one. How about that? Helped. Either one of these wrestlers helped? No. Grudge, nope, no grudge. No grudge, we'll throw it back there. Quick, quick, only on a circle. He's quick all the time there. And Artie McCarty tries to give him a clothesline and gives him a right, rakes his back with his fingernails. TV move, TV move. Artie McCarty gives him the party, the party pooper for one point. Helped. No, neither one of them's helped. Mean. Once again, that's Joe Ridge on a square. And then he hits him with a thug like fist drop, and he has one more chance to pin him. One. No, sir. He kicks out of it again. Artie McCarty not giving up at all tonight. Artie McCarty. Favorite wrestler, though. Uh oh, and that will be Joe, Joe Ridge. And he pumps him up. Pumps up the crowd. Pumps up the crowd. Now a TV move. Artie McCarty gives him the pop top corkscrew chop. And that's one point. Helped. Nope. Neither wrestlers helped. Strong. Strong. No, neither one of them strong even. Mean. That is Joe Ridge on a square but not a circle. Strong again. No. TV move. That will be, once again, Artie McCarty's pop a top. And that, but that's for no points. Helped? Nope. Cheat. Cheat. Artie McCarty, yeah. He gets a legal help from outside the ring, and that's three points there. And McCarty is going to try to pan Joe Ridge. You can see it happening. Object now. Object. No. Neither one of them had the object. Smart. Smart. That will be Joe Joe Ridge. He, he um, hits him with a off the turnbuckle and another chance to pin Artie McCarty. One, two, three. Ding 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 ding. And your winner in eight minutes and fourteen seconds. Judge Joe Ridge. Judge Joe Ridge. All right. Let's see what post-match has to say about this. All right. Post-match. Two. We'll go to X. Highlight reel X.
44. Go to Y. 41. 41. Winning wrestler's ally registers loud, unwarranted protest quickly silenced by TV analyst observation. Reduce ally's TV grade by one letter grade. So Judge Joe Ridge, his ally will be, uh, we will put, uh, we'll put ally reduce grade by one point. All right. And his TV grade now for a win goes up to a C. So, all right. That's well done there. And that is our first match of the evening. Okay. This next match is also a singles match. And, uh, May not may not be much match to it, but we'll see what happens. In the blue corner from Reedsburg, Wisconsin, Richard Harley Jr., the Harley Fool. Harley Fool. And from the outskirts of uh, Hargis Falls. 325. Ray Ed Hargis. Ray Ed Hargis. All righty. We'll get these two underway in just a minute. Ray Ed Hargis has been a, a tag team champion in the past uh, with different organizations. And I'm sure right now he would like nothing better than to possibly come in here and win the heavyweight championship. And uh, Harley Fool was in his way today. So. Uh, Let's see what's going to happen. Uh, Alrighty. Okay. We are ready to begin. It is. Okay. Pre match four. It'll be an O. Okay. It'll be 11. Oh, okay. All right, 11 on the O, go to highlight real P. Okay, we can do that. 51, underdog wrestler, unloads a Syrian blast of, fa of favorite wrestler who says nothing in response, reduced favorite wrestler TV grade by one letter. All right, he would have started off with a D, so now he will start off with an E. Wow. So, I'll reduce the allies TV grade. Oh, okay, okay. I got you. We'll put Harley Fool back at D. All right. And uh, ally, once again, reduce. Grade by one. All right. Plus, we'll have post match as well. So, we'll see what happens there. All right. We are ready to begin. And the best way to get going is we ring the bell. All right. Here we go. Favorite, favorite wrestler. Both of them are favorites, but Harley Fool will have it. He's going to drop kick Red Hargis into the into the ropes. Wild card. Wild card now. All right. 52. Uh, Red is Harley Fool uh, heavy. No, he's not. He's tossed out of the ring by the opponent. The opponent scores three points. Wow. Object. Yes, Red, Red, Red Hargis will carry an object with him. And he uses it. It's a table. He uses the table upside his head. One point, Ray Ed Hargis. What's up, Homish Elvis? Favorite. 
Once again, Harley Fool, he's pumped up by the crowd. He's running around in circles, acting like he's riding a motorcycle. TV move, TV move. He does crank the, uh, crank the uh, motorcycle one point. Helped. Ray Ed Hargis is helped. So let's go to highlight real M. Let's see what can happen here. This may not be good for Harley Fool. 42. Wrestler tosses opponent out of the ring into the spectators. Manager prevents opponent from returning to the ring in time. And the wrestler is awarded the decision. Ding, ding, ding. And that was a count out. Well, well, I'll tell you, a count out victory for uh, Ray Ed Hargis. Count out win. And let's see what happens in the post match. Harley Fool wanted to do something there and just couldn't do it. And we're going to highlight real you. All right. Highlight real you. Okay. See what's going to happen here. 23. The heel win results in unprovoked unpro attack by the faces ally who injures the heel. The injury scenario. So, Ray Ed Hargis now has been laid up. The ally was running his mouth before the match. And now, for two weeks, Ray Ed Hargis is out with an injury. He is injured. His back is hurt. Ally attacks Hargis. So we have to figure out who his ally is at the end of the night. We will certainly do that. No problem there. Now we are ready for uh, maybe one of the more interesting uh, Matches straight down the line. Officer Carl Barnes against the lawnmower. I'm going to mow your ass clean. The lawnmower, Jimmy Sorrell. Jimmy Sorrell. Or Jimmy Sorrell. I'm sorry. Jimmy Sorrell. I am playing face to the mat wrestling. Face to the mat is what this is called. All right. Officer Carl Barnes. This is from play.com. If you've never seen this game before, uh, I'll show it to you guys. This is what the box looks like. It's offered at play. It's offered at play. P-L-A-A-Y.com. And it's called Face to the Mat, and it's wrestling. Uh Everything comes with it. You don't have to do anything except just uh, have some fun with it. I add these only due to the fact sometimes I play tag team. I just like them better than chips. That's all. Anyone remember what I invented? I forgot. I inverted. Uh, no, invented. Philip, what did you invent? What did Philip invent? What did you invent, Philip? All right, we are just about ready. Our officer Carl Barnes. Not in a good mood. He's got the Billy stick beside of him and the stun gun. The lawnmower, Jimmy Sorrell, has the, the the broken weed eater also along with the leaf blower. So he brings both of those to the ring. All right. We're going to go to highlight reel R for pre-match. I got a call from someone today saying I invented something. Uh, I don't know. I do not know. Do you know the person that called you? My advice is this. If it's somebody you think it's in the room here, go find the area code, look it up, and find out what state it is. 
see if it's somebody that maybe can't, you know, that you may talk to and around online all the time. 15. During the interview, the heel slams folding chair over the face's head. How many times? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my Lord. Three times. Oh, my gosh. He's already went after Carl Barnes, and we're ready to ring the bell. And this may end up being a Donnie Brook, folks. Donnie Brook, indeed. Jimmy Sorrell. The lawnmower himself has attacked Officer Carl Barnes. Is there a grudge? No grudge yet. But yes, it is. Yes, it is. Carl Barnes has grudge, and he gets to go in from his silver repertoire. And he will go with the stun gun maneuver, two points himself. Smart. That will be Officer Carl Barnes. He avoids the slingshot off the rope, hits him over the head, over the turnbuckle, with the, the butt of his gun. <laughs> cheat. That'll be the lawnmower. He gets in a cheap shot, trying to use the weed eater. But they, these two guys do, do not realize this is a straight match here. Grudge, once again, a one-point grudge. Carl Barnes is using a stick in the gun in his mouth and holding his nose. <laughs> powerful, powerful. And that is the lawnmower. And he tosses him across the ring into the corner. And we have ourselves one, um, a very good match here. Mean. No mean right here. Mean once more. We'll move that around. Powerful. Powerful. That is the lawnmower. He throws him with a backbreaker and then slings him out of the ring. Three points for the lawnmower. TV move. TV move. That'll be Officer Carl Barnes. Both of them are deep uh, wrestlers. And he gives him the stun gun with both thumbs right up against his neck. And he just can't move for a second. Strong. Oh, that'll be Carl Barnes on a square, but no. Nope, not that time. Mean. Mean. That's neither wrestler either, believe it or not. Quick. Quick. That'll be Officer Carl Barnes. Slips behind him, delivers him multiple kidney punches. And Officer Barnes is trying to get back into the move of it. Strong. Strong. That's on a square. He's on a square. He shakes off a hole, slams opponent's face into the mat a couple of times. TV move. He gives him the boot upside the face. He gives him the, the uh, sidewalk stomps a few times, but nothing, you know, nothing that comes of it, though. No points. Let's see. Highlight reel. Highlight reel B. Highlight real B. All right. All right. Let's see what's going to happen here. Highlight real B. 66. Go to highlight real D. 13. Uh, let's see which one is going to be the injured wrestler. It'll be one, two, or three, four, five, or six. It'll be three. It'll be Carl Barnes. He's injured, makes a surprise appearance in the ring, and he's recovered. Oh, another. Oh, another. Let's see. Oh, that'll be Ray Ed Hargison. Okay. Ray Ed Hargis, who just got injured the last match, he comes out there and he shows off, shakes around in the middle of the ring and says, I am fine, and slides out of the ring. And these two guys right here are still outside the ring, very, very pissed at each other. Let's see what's going to happen now. Powerful, powerful. That'll be the lawnmower. He throws him over into the turnbuckle once more. And lawnmower now is looking to, he's looking to cut the grass. And look at the weed eat here. If he can finish him off. Wild card once again. Let's go to wild card. Regular match. Wild card. It'll be a 62. 
is Carl Barnes mean? I say, no, a lawnmower. He, he, no, he's not mean. Opponent scores one point using a foreign object before referee halts the match and removes the object from the ring. Well, we're not going. We're not going to halt the match. We're going to let him keep going. He took the. He took the. Uh, so you cannot use object anymore. This match favorite favorite wrestler. Neither one of them's a favorite. Agile on a circle only, not a square. Quick, yes, indeed. Both of them are quick, so let's see who wins it. Uh, he's the black, he's the white. Let's see which one gets a higher roll. It'll be the black, so it will be the lawnmower. He gets an ankle lock in and gets two points for that one. Helped, helped. Neither one of them get helped. Heavy, heavy. Nope, neither one's heavy. Grudge, that is Carl Barnes. He gets a gold move and he gets himself the enforcer. It's like a DDT in the middle of the ring, but they have to get to the final pin before it, it counts as a pin chance. Let's see what happens now. Quick, quick. That'll be the lawnmower now. He avoids a clothesline and gives him a drop kick of his own. These two are having the hammer and tong. TV moves, no points, but it's a, this uh, stun gun from Carl Barnes, and now he's going to get up and see what he can do. Mean, mean, no, sir. Heavy. No, oh, and now the crowd's starting to boo a little bit. Grudge, yes. He gets a bronze move. It is a DDT from the second rope. Cheat. Yes, that'll be the lawnmower. The lawnmower delivers a painful illegal hold on the opponent. He grabs him by the gun and pulls his pulls his pants down to his ankles. And now he will try to finish him off. What is he going to The double mulcher. He's going to try the double mulcher. Let's see if he can do it. One. Two. Will he make him tap? Will he make Carl Barnes tap? No, sir. No, he does not. Carl Barnes is standing tall and proud to that one. He's not giving up yet. Object. No object now. Carl Barnes is not allowed to use the object again. Powerful. I mean, favorite. I'm sorry. Smart. Smart. That'll be Carl Barnes. And he pulls something out from his boot and uses it upside the head. Look like a pair of brass nuts. Strong. That's on a square. That's not a, that's not a circle. Grudge, once again, he's going to get a two-point move. He's going to use those brass knucks again and put them back down in the side of his boot. Helped. No. Let's see. No helped again. Quick. Quick. That'll be the lawnmower. He's going to get a surprising toe hold on him, and he's not up to the first pin mark yet. If he can, he can try to pin him. Grudge. Once a minute again, that's Carl Barnes. And he'll get him in the uh, sidewalk um, stomps, three or four of those, and says, you have a right to shut your damn mouth. Highlight real X. I mean, highlight real A. I'm sorry. Highlight real A. Let's see what's going to happen now. Highlight real A. Here we go. Be Carl Barnes here. Whoops. Let's see what that is. 21. Rassler suffers injury. Check out scenario of wrestler, wrestling injury. All right. Okay. Let's see what's happening now. Let's see. He's, he's got hurt. So he's hurt the lawnmower. He has hurt the lawnmower. Let's see what he's going to do. He throws him out of the ring. Now let's see if he let's see if he'll gather himself back into the ring in time. That's yet. No. No, no, that's four count. 
five, six. He does get back into the ring, but now Officer Carl Barnes will pin him right now, or at least make an attempt to pin him. No, sir. Carl Barnes will have to back it up now. And Lawnmower, he's not done yet. Cutting the grass. Helped. No. Cheat. Yes, sir. He gets illegal help from outside the ring. He gets the prison guard to come out and try to help him out. And now he's going to try the double mulcher once more. One. No. Oh, my goodness. The double mulcher. He could not get it to finish him off. Object. No. But Carl, Carl Barnes will get the object. He will try it now. It'll be worth two points to him. Heavy, heavy, no. Smart. Yes, sir. And that'll be one point. And now Carl Barnes can try to pull off the upset here. One, two, three. And we have a winner, Carl Barnes. He's pulling a ticket out of his pocket, and he's putting it on lawnmower. And the lawnmower, now he's been ticketed. No doubt about it, Carl Barnes is the winner of this match. Officer Carl Barnes. He wins. He gave him the illegal alien treatment. <laughs> Pop upside the face and head upside the the uh, the wheel of the car. The illegal alien treatment. How about that one? All right. Uh, let's see. Highlight real X. Okay. 23, defeated wrestler livid after opponent makes belittling comments on TV, increases grudge grade by four points. Wow. So the lawnmower is pissed. He is very upset, but Officer Carl Barnes now gets a, a, a TV grade bumped up to a C, so that helps him some. But the lawnmower, not at all happy about that. Not very happy at all. Next, we have a tag team event, and this one should be pretty interesting, I would say. All right. These guys have been my tag champions now for the better part of five months. But let's see if uh, the favorite wrestlers can come in here and maybe give, give themselves a chance. Let's see. In fact... They're the favorites, and they are not. Okay. First off, at a combined weight, 420 pounds, Einstein, Justin Poindexter, Cyber Geek, Gary Niedermeyer. They are the Geek Squad. The champions. 328 from Houston, Texas, Graham Reaper. 6'6", 285, Hersey, Pennsylvania's on the Grave Digger. They are Cemetery Incorporated. And they are the tag champions. They are champions. So this will be a championship match. Philip, I have no idea what what algebraic expression you use. Number of dice in Chris's box. I have. You got me on that one. I have no idea. But if somebody guessed it right on the dot, more power to them, I guess, right? That's all I can say. More power to them. Oh, yeah. At the end of this broadcast, don't let me forget, I will tell you. The uh, History Maker baseball teams, that I, the season I, I uh, did order. It's been ordered, so you don't have to give me any more um, 
recommendations. I, I do appreciate any and all. I got about 15 today. I appreciate everybody getting in touch with me. But now I have decided which way I'm going to go with it. Yeah. Yeah. So let's go to highlight reel R. Highlight reel R. It's a 56. The bad guy, celebrity, fools the face into letting down his guard, reduce face grudge grade by one point. Oh, either one of them have grudge grade? They do not. So they're both DTV wrestlers, okay, but they are the champions. And the Geek Squad, both DTV wrestlers as well. They will get better with time, folks. YouTube Wrestling Organization. YWO. All right. We are ready to go. Uh, we'll do like this. Okay. We'll just go with one each. Uh, we'll just do that. All right. Here we go. We are ready to begin. Let's see. All right, and let's see what's going to happen here. Powerful, powerful. That is definitely Grave Digger. He slams uh, the Cyber Geek now with three, with a, a, a pile driver, and that's a three-point pile driver. Six or five, he tags one, uh, the opponent tags. Six, he will tag Graham Reaper in. Graham Reaper now comes in. Let's see what he's going to do. TV move. TV move of D. Actually, it'll be minus one point. Ooh, he misses a drop kick. Wow. Let's see if he tags now. Oh, it will be a tag. Niedermeyer tags Einstein in. Let's see what's going to happen now. Favorite. Favorite. That is Graham Reaper. He drop kicks Einstein into the corner once more. He will tag Grave Digger. Grave Digger now. See what he's gonna do. Wild card, wild card, tag team wild card. Okay, thirty-three heavy. Grave diggers heavy. Yet yeah, sits on the opponent who can't tag out. Repeated blows. He will score two more points on him. All right. Okay, so let's see if he tags. Let's see if he tags now. No, he does not. So, let's see what's going to happen now. Object. Object. Either one of them have an object. No, they don't. Helped. Helped. Uh, neither one of them. Both of them could be, I guess, considered help, but they're not giving that quality on here, so they're not going to get it. So, neither of them get a help on the second one here. Heavy, heavy, that's not Einstein, that is Grave Digger. He falls on top of his opponent like a tree. Boom, and that's <laughs> all it was was an ouch, a one-point ouch is what they call that. And Graham Reaper comes back into the ring. Agile, agile, that'll be Einstein. He, had knock, he knocks Graham Reaper down with a flying slingshot move, two points. Let's see if he can tag Niedermeyer into the ring. Hold on. Let's see. One. No. Grave Digger will get in there. See if he can put a move on Einstein now. Let's see what he can do. Mean. Mean. Neither one of these two guys are mean. No. Heavy. That is definitely Grave Digger. He crushes Einstein into the turnbuckle. Make, makes him look like a little sweet pea there. And he tags Graham Reaper. And these two guys. Um. Uh, Cemetery Incorporated. They are putting it to a wild card maneuver now. Wild card maneuver. And this will be by Reaper. Let's see what he can do. Uh, 12. Agile. He is not agile. Fatigued. Unable to use gold, silver, or bronze moves the rest of the match. Wow. So Reaper cannot use them. Let's see if he can tag out. No, sir. He cannot even tag out now. Signature move. Nope. He can't use it. Smart. 
Smart. That will be Einstein. He escapes the submission hold and puts a chin lock on his opponent. Now let's see if he can tag Niedermeyer. No, sir, he cannot. Einstein will see what he can do now. Object. Object. Yes, Graham Reaper has it. He uses it. He gets out the shovel. He gets out his shovel. Let's see. Bop right between the eyes with it. One point. Let's see if he can tag Gravedigger back in. Yes, he will. Gravedigger now. Walking very slowly over to Einstein. Specialty move. He can do his specialty move. The coffin toss. And how many points will it be for? No more than three. It's worth three, though. Now, let's see if he can tag. No, sir. He's going to stay in the ring and do some more damage. Another specialty move. We'll mix those up. And can he finish him off right here? He may be able to. The sod buster is coming up. 11 to 53. Yes. One. No. No, sir. Einstein reached the ropes. Now, Gravedigger, can he tag? No, he cannot. Gravedigger now going back after Einstein. And we'll go with TV move with Einstein. He tries to drop kick Gravedigger off the top rope. And he just he doesn't even move him. He loses a point. Now will great can Einstein tag? Yes, he will. He gets Niedermeyer in there. The cyber geek himself now is gonna try to do something. What can he do? Favorite, favorite. That's neither wrestler. Grudge. All right. Quick. Quick. That's on a square. So that's not going to work either. Wild card. And uh, Niedermeyer had control. Let's see what's going to happen. 31. 31. Favorite. Is he a favorite wrestler? No, he is not. Opponents alt alternate blow alternate blows on a wrestler while the wrestler's partner watches helplessly. He get three more points on him. Graham Digger now. Let's Grave Digger. Let's see if he can get Graham Reaper back in the ring. He does. Graham Reaper now comes back in. And he's going to try to finish him off. Powerful. No doubt about it. He shudders the whole ring with a suplex slam. And he's going to try to pin, it, pin Niedermeyer right here. One. Two. Three. And that is the tag team champions of Cemetery Incorporated, the Grave Digger, and Graham Reaper. All right, let's see post match champions pin challengers. All right, nothing major goes, but let's see what the post match is. Four. Let's go to X. Let's go to X. Uh, Sixty-five. So one of the uh, one of the wrestling models that comes down to the ring. Uh, falls over Grave Digger and Graham Reaper. Now their grudge great is minus one, but they don't care. They're going to walk out of the ring with her, and they are the champions of the world, the tag team champions. Now, folks, um, due to the fact we are a little bit short on time, we're going to go directly to our main event. All right. Okay. We are ready for the main event of the evening. All right. In the beige corner, he is the challenger. He is the PGA Tour, P Paul Gregory Allison, the long driver, and our champion. 
for the past four and one half months, he has been the champion. He is the pit boss himself, Vegas, Vance Yancey. All righty, folks. And we get the referee checking out, making sure everything's fine. And while that's going on, let's do the pre-match. Pre-match R. And we are. Let's see what's happening here. All right. If you're looking to acquire this game, you go to play.com. And uh, it is called Face to the Mat Wrestling. Face to the Mat. And uh, it uh, originates out of Colorado, P-L-A-A-Y.com. And Keith Avalon is the CEO. Sam, his son, uh, has a whole lot to do with it as well. And uh, they're very, 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 very interesting games, any, any of the play.com games. All right, let's look at the pre-match here for our main event. All right, 65. Um, Paul Gregory Allison comes up to Vegas Van Cianci and he uses the driver on his uh, um, poker tournament championship trophy. He has a four foot trophy that he won in Vegas. And he wears it out on him, and it pisses off Yancey, and we can incre uh, increase his grudge grade by one. So his grudge grade is now a one. So he would not have been carrying over any grudge prior to that. But now, yes, sir, there is a grudge going on now. But Paul Gregory Allison, the PGA Tour, is trying to shoot better than par today upside his head. Let's see if he can do it. This should be pretty good. All right. Here we go. Main event of the evening. All right. Let's see. Uh, TV move? Yes. TV move right off the bat. The one arm bandit by Vegas Manchanti. He gets two points for that. Grudge. Yes, he does. He, have a gr he has a grudge now. And... He's going to use the blackjack forearm, calls it to 21, and that's two points for him as well. Helped. Does either one of these guys get helped? Nope. Agile. Agile. That will be Paul Gregory Allison. He gets a flying head scissors to him, and he moves around a little bit better now after getting thrown around the first couple of seconds there. Smart. That also is Paul Gregory Allison, and he will – He's going to terrorize him with the ball cleaner, the ball washer. And that's two points. Mean. Mean. That is Vegas Van Chianti. He uses the boot laces upside PGA Tour's head. Specialty move. Specialty move. That'll be PGA Tour's. He's going to terrorize him with the. This time with the putter, and he says, I'm going to stick that putter straight up your candy. And he comes right after him with it. He was behind in a match. Wild card, wild card for this championship match. What can happen here? This could be big. 35. Is PGA, is he PGA Tour? It, no, I see. Vegas fan chance is behind. Gets opponents and submission hold. And immediately wins. He wins. He, he put on the blackjack forearm smash. And then he did rummy to the dummy. The dummy rummy. The rummy to the dummy. And PGA Tour submits. And it was only five minutes, nine seconds. And this was a very quick win for Vegas Vanciante. Let's see in the post-match what may happen here. Okay. Uh, the face did win. Yes, face did win. All right. Neither one of them are really faces, but uh, of the two, he is the face, uh, I guess. So. 61. Okay. Whoop. 
Let's see. Guest and host have a love fest. Audience response is they're asleep. Is that I? Oh, no, it's T. I'm sorry, it's T. Okay. That's why the hell I'm messing up. 61's a T. 61T. I thought that didn't make sense. Here we go, 61. Face win results in opportunity to generate heat. Increase TV grade on a dice roll. Or not. If a face wants to work the crowd, roll one die. <laughs> oh, okay. So now what we're going to do is this. We're going to do letter grades. We're going we're gonna to increase their letter grades. The, the face on a one, two, or three, on a four or five, increase the heel on a six. Um. Well, six would be no change. Five, actually, PGA Tours TV grade goes up one right here because uh, Vegas Man Cianci is showing off at the end of the ring. He could have went to the he could have went to the locker room and run away from PGA Tour, but he didn't. He's slowly backing up, and PGA Tour is making it clear that next time the putter is coming out of the bag, and also he's going to bring his caddy with him next time, and we'll have to find out who his caddy is. But PGA Tour, he did submit to Vegas Man Yancey tonight in our main event. Um, earlier, if you did not watch everything, Judge Joe Ridge, uh, he beat Artie the party, the one-man party, McCarty, and uh, he pinned him. Uh, Ray Ed Hargis, uh, he beat the Harley Fool. Uh, then off, Officer Carl Barnes, and uh, he won with a stun gun. Um, And um, uh, let's see, Cemetery Incorporated, the Grave Digger and Graham Reaper, they beat the Geek Squad. They pinned them. They pinned the Challengers and ended uh, the Geek Squad's comeback. Next week, one of the matches we didn't have time for today, Blast and Thrash, the sound machine, is going up against uh, – the Veterans of Ring Wars, Sergeant Slash, and Corporal Punishment, and those two teams will be in the first uh, in a, a number one contenders match to try to go after Grave Digger and Grand Reaper. Um, we'll see what happens about that. So I hope you enjoyed it. This is Face to the Mat Wrestling. Oh, my big, uh, my big announcement. Um, my History Maker Baseball. I made a decision, and I'm going with the 1980 season, along with the 1980 uh, extras. So I'm taking, I'm getting an 80 season and the extra players all. So I'm going to have the 1980 season probably here. Well, that's today's Tuesday. I'll probably have it here by the weekend. So I'm looking forward to that and getting my history maker baseball back out again. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy face to the mat wrestling. That's uh. Very, very enjoyable. I get it out every once in a while. I've got a hundred, a couple, probably a couple hundred wrestlers now because uh, you can get some of them uh, free. Um, you can get some of them different places on the internet. And, uh, it, you can just get stacks and stacks of these wrestlers, folks. I'll let you know that right off. You can get, I mean, just piles and piles of these wrestlers. It's nuts. 
how many you can get. So uh, definitely take advantage of it. If you get this, uh, a lot of these are actual rascals I got here too. So yeah, uh, definitely take advantage of getting some of these wrestlers. If you get the opportunity to do it, uh, get them on some good card stock. And um, I've got some from uh, Italian Championship Wrestling. I got some from the old NWA. I got some from the WWF back in the day. Um, AWA, I have a lot of different wrestlers. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I, I certainly do. I always enjoy it anytime I uh, get a chance to get some uh, – some wrestling in. I just hadn't had chances lately. And uh, now uh, I'm going to put these. I'm going to put these in here with the Italian guys. They're all, look, look how bright different colors they are, too. They're colorful. Okay? They're all colored and stuff. Green, blue, red, whatever. Uh, so uh, very, very interesting to play this game. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, um, I will, Andrew, I will be playing the, um, Manchester City, a uh, Manchester United Crystal Palace game very, very soon. I will have that on here. So be expecting it very soon. And then until I see you again, play face, to, uh, get, get this game and play it some and ring that bell over and over. <laughs> and have a great one, guys. All right. So I'll see you again. I'm Rob, and God bless. Have a great, great evening.